My name is Tuanto, in case you were wondering how to pronounce it or not, you probably don't give a shit. Many people have asked me for my build reveal and an explanation as to why I use certain uh, things on Gene. They've been asking on TikTok and Twitch. Uh, I post Genshin content there and stream Genshin on Twitch. So if you want to check us out, come hang out with us sometime. I'm pretty new to YouTube, by the way. So uh, yeah, thank you for 20,000 subscribers. I didn't think I'd get to where I am this fast, but uploading on YouTube consistently now has been super fun and a great learning experience. Anyways, I will be showing you my personal gene build. This is a showcase. This isn't a recommendation, okay? You can build whatever you want. Have fun with whatever you want. Uh, I do recommend everyone to utilize Google spreadsheets to help guide you in the right direction if you are confused on what you want to build. I'll suggest a general build set uh, in the description below. Anyways, for context, uh, I am AR-55, so my world level is 8. Enemies are very uh, strong. My gene is level 90, her weapon is also level 90, and all artifacts are max level as well. I'm going to be explaining uh, why I choose the artifacts I chose, why I chose the weapon I chose, uh, preferred substats for my artifacts, what I look for, and finally, I will also display damage against enemies, because we all love numbers, except me. I, I hate math. And then I will actually show you a little gene strat I like to utilize. So first, let's go over the artifacts. I am running two-piece gladiator finale and two-piece bloodstained chivalry. Two-piece glad, basic two-piece set to get that attack bonus, which is a 18% attack increase, which is nice. And then I have a two-piece bloodstained. This is giving me a 25% physical bonus. You're probably wondering, Tuanto, why, why not just run a four-piece glad? Because you get a 35% attack damage increase. I'm using a two-piece bloodstain because of that specific reason. The 35% attack bonus only goes to your normal attack, not your charged attack. The 25% physical bonus goes into all white damage, white number damage, including your charged attack. And I utilize a lot of charged attacks in my playstyle with Jean. I will be showing you how I use that combo later in the vid. However, I do recommend a four-piece glad set for most Jean DPS builds that utilize normal attacks. Uh, the reason why I use Bloodstain is because, well, I this is a very specific build for myself. But do whatever you want. Go ahead and give it a shot. Regarding artifact substats, if you look at the substats, you may notice a lot of crit damage. Lots of crit damage, actually. A few crit rates, but a lot of crit damage and energy recharge. Uh, I value a lot of energy recharge mostly because it helps get the ultimate up for healing and the ultimate does a decent amount of damage as well. If you look closely there isn't enough crit rate to balance out the amount of crit damage I'm having. Also look at this substat. 42% on the Sans Gladiator which is pretty ridiculous if you ask me. I gotta say I did get lucky with this one. But anyways to balance out the crit rate and crit damage ratio I am using the Jade Cutter. The Jade Cutter is probably one of the top swords in the game simply because of its high crit rate. It may not have a high base attack as a weapon like the Aquila Favonia, but the Jade Cutter has a very high crit rate and you can utilize that for specific builds like this. Because of a high crit rate, I'm able to utilize a 220% crit damage stat on Jean. As you can see, our crit rate is well above 50%, so we will be landing lots of critical hits when attacking with Jean. You're probably also wondering, Tuanto, but why not use one of the best swords in the game? The Kill of Havania. The Fizz damage bonus is immaculate. Well, I used to use it actually. It does have great stats and a great healing special ability. And it also looks really, really good on Jean too. I must say, it fits her outfit perfectly. But unfortunately, after trying out artifacts and mix and matching uh, the weapons, artifacts, and substats I had, it is in my benefit to utilize the Jade Cutter so I can furthermore utilize the crit damage I have on Jean. Uh, with the Aquila Favonia, it's just not worth it to have a low crit rate because the consistency of landing the critical hits is just not... Uh, it's not viable. Inconsistency is not good. It is a pretty weapon though. This choice may vary for a lot of people. A lot of people may just straight up use the kill of a phone no matter what, but it all really depends on the cards you're dealt. Regarding main stats on the artifacts, I have attack, animo damage bonus, and crit damage. Animo damage bonus is mainly for her gale blade. And when I say gale blade, I'm talking about the talents. Uh, my talent levels are 8, 10, and 6, and I'm mainly prioritizing Gale Blade, which I've already maxed out. This is because we are getting a skill damage of 526%. That is actually ridiculous. 
with the Animo Damage Bonus Cup, it's going to be like a mini nuke, basically, every six seconds, which is the cooldown for for elemental skill. With all this combined, I'm able to average around 22 to 29,000 damage just from her Gale Blade. Lastly, before we get into damage displays and all the numbers, I want to talk about a gene charged attack strat I like to utilize. It looks something like this. This attack strat involves charge attacking and then quickly using your Gale Blade to drag the enemy super quick at a high speed to the ground, dealing additional fall damage. And the fall damage from the Gale Blade scales off the enemy's HP, so it's really useful to use this strat against high HP enemies like the Sisson Mage. I just gotta get her in the air first. Hold on, come here. I'm not trying to auto attack to the freaking flies, come on! There we go, 19,000 right there, and an additional 23,000 after the Gale Blade combo finishes. It's a very useful combo. Alright, let's show off uh, our auto attack damage towards your average Hillageral, for example. As you can see, I'm doing 3,000 about, and 4,000 to 5,000 crit hits, so in total I'm hitting around maybe 10,000 total. Let's show off the uh, my favorite part about Jean, her Gale Blade. Do not sleep on this move. This move is absolutely destructive. Let me just show you the damage you can output for free. It's it's kind of ridiculous. I just did about 23,000 to probably most of these enemies I just hit. And this is no buffs, that's just crit. And uh, I would like to mention my team comp and why I use this team. Basically, since Jean is my main DPS, I have a Zhongli for shield buffs and passive geo damage and nuke spam. And I have Albedo for passive geo damage as well. And then Fischl for more passive electro damage. So basically, none of my support characters have to be out on the field to deal damage and help the main DPS, which is Jean, which is uh, what most supports do. When we put this all in motion, it is a team of absolute mass destruction with Jean being the leading damage dealer. Here's a quick playthrough of my team in action with Jean as the main DPS. This is the, which domain is this? The uh, Taishin Mansion uh, domain. I bring out Zhongli for the shield for that bonus damage. Bring out Fischl for passive damage and then Albedo as well. And then uh, Jean does the rest. 29,000 right there just from uh, Gale Blade. And then 32,000 from her ultimate uh, because of Zhongli's shield. And there you go. Oh, I have no resin. But yeah, that's my Jean build. Uh, hopefully you maybe gain some insight as to why I do the things I do with Jean and why I chose Jean as my all-time Genshin Impact character main. Hopefully you enjoyed the vid. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe for more Genshin. I do stream on Twitch, and unfortunately right now, my internet is out at the time of making this, so I will be editing this on my PC, then uh, iTunes file transferring it to my phone so I can upload it using my cellular data on my phone. YouTube, I know, pretty, pretty lame, but it's, it's all I have to do since I have no internet. You're probably wondering though, uh, Jake, how are you playing Genshin on your PC since you need an internet connection? Well, uh, yeah, as you can see, my ping is relatively high. That's because uh, I'm connected on my hotspot on my phone. So yeah, that's why. Be sure to join my Discord if you haven't already. We are 22,000 members strong, full of Genshin Impact lovers. Until next time.